Yeah, I know, but I have got to get out of this house sometime. I'm going crazy here, okay? Oh my god! Hi! Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Bruno Brito. Today I'm going to talk about movies. Let's start with today. We're going to continue watching Desperate Housewives Season 2. Um, let's go. The Apple Whites, apparently, the dad is trapped in the basement. Lynette is back to work. Tom is kind of useless, as always. My god, because honestly, Tom is hot, but like, for the love of God. Susan and Mike broke up for the like 20th time. Gabby. <laughs> Gabby make that fake DNA test. Bree. Oh my God. Bree the mother in law. For the love of God. Really. That's it. The mother in law is gonna piss me off. It is like. Oh, and Carl is fucking hot. My God. In the last episode, Carl being. Oh my God. Oh my God. The things that I will do with this man. Well, I really hope you like this video. In case you do, you want to watch the other Desperate Housewives with me, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me with 10,000 subs someday. And also, uh, I have a Patreon. I'm gonna post full reactions, early access, and post the next videos. Thank you so much. Everything in the description. And let's go. Hi. Real quickly. So, I have a subscriber that I think. I'm, uh, Karina, I'm saying that you are a subscriber. <laughs> she told me about that. Every mystery of every season has a, a specific theme, and I didn't realize. So I'm gonna show a scene of the theme of the, uh, season one, and I'm gonna show a scene of the season two. I'm gonna try to figure it out in every every season, but like, if anyone realized before me or Karina, if you do it, please tell me that I'm gonna single them out for you guys to listen. But like, I'm gonna show it. <laughs> And that was it. I just thought that it was cool and everybody should know this. So if in case you are re-watching or watching for the first time Desperate Housewives with me or doing full reactions on my Patreon and stuff like that, just pay attention for that because it's a nice detail. Thank you. Continue to the movie. Others are being kept there against their will. Oh, I'm very curious about this. Ah, sorry, Did I forget to take the pins out of that dress? Her lapses had become more <laughs> That was on purpose. Didn't I tell you I was gonna paint that chair? More glaring and more dangerous. <laughs> she wants to kill you. I was worried about Phyllis's faulty memory. When you might be ending your visit? <laughs> exactly. What? Have I become a burden? Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. I don't know. I don't know. What on earth? You're kidding me, what happened? And oh, they remove his body for the insurance man. Well, wow, they can do that. Why would they do that? I don't know. Unless... They're gonna do blood tests that they didn't do before? Insurance investigator? He was very suspicious. Suspicious? Oh, poor yes. her. He thinks he was poisoned. Poor her. Did I not mention that? Her mother-in-law's memory was fine. Exactly. It was her soul that was faulty. Kill her, let's kill her. I'm all for when we kill her. The, the gravestone is already there. <laughs> One thing that I find very nice is that I thought for a second that only because Carlos will be arrested, he was not gonna show up anymore, like in the second season. But he is showing up. I'm very glad of that. Because honestly, I like Carlos, okay? He's not perfect, believe me. But like, nobody here is. The party not even Brie. Chloe Pendergast would bring the tea set. Ooh. From her mother's closet. How are you? Ah, that's so cute. Of course, it never occurred to the three young girls. That's so nice for them. One of the older girls in the neighborhood was engaging older. in a fantasy of her own. I mean, he is hot. Is this happening for real? Is that dream? Oh. Only, honestly, I had way worse. Up to the mall again? You know me. There was nothing oh, yeah. Gabrielle enjoyed as much as shopping. She spends a lot of money, my god. She took satisfaction in looking at the merchandise. <laughs> uh, what, what happened? Oh, Susan, forget it, my god. It's Carl's weekend to have Julie. I'm being nice. I could have him arrested. I mean, <laughs> wrong. I am all for Julie spending time with Carl. He is Are you? her dad, and she... Oh, the problem is Edie. Uh, doesn't sound like they're having an orgy in there. Oh, my god, it's kidding my dog. Well, obviously, they saw us coming. <laughs> Michael like it also. 
Hey guys! Hey mommy! Hey! Hi, you're back to work today early. On your first day of school, you and your dad can find your cubby and you can hang it up. You're not taking me? No. Actually, I'll be right there to hold your hand. But I thought mommy was taking me. Yeah, well, honey, I have to work. Exactly. If I miss work, I'll lose my job and then we won't have any money to buy food. Okay, that's the right <laughs> Honey, you gotta believe me. If I could be there, you know that I would. Oh, that's awful for the mother. For her. I will talk to my boss and I will see what I can do. Wow, I don't want to rain on your prey, but he just totally manipulates. Exactly. Well, hey, when a kid's that good, you gotta give him his due. Oh, nice cut, nice cut. Topsy, detective. For right? her. A heart attack. I love that. <laughs> the actor is the, the, the policeman in a scary movie. I'm gonna watch it. I, I have a whole list. I loved Rex, and anyone who knows me will tell you that I was incapable of hurting him. You sure about that? Yes. You talked to Phyllis. Again, I can't discuss the case. She's my mother in law. Of course, she said horrible things. I love that. He's like mother in law, the synonymous of like talking bad about me. Well, it was a marriage. Of course there were problems. May I record this just so there's no no over your statement? No, you may not record this. And I the the thing that makes me angry is like if they find out something in blood tests, I'm gonna lose my mind because he did the blood test the whole season. <sighs> Get out of my house. Those who were useless before their morning coffee. Back in the bag. I thought she was gonna look for something. Bye. Going on. I will tell you one thing. You wouldn't be acting this way. You didn't feel guilty about something. She's amazing. I love her so much. Oh, I love this dress. It looks like a bra, but like I know it's a dress. All right. How could you forget our anniversary? I'm in jail. Sit in a cell all day long, staring at a calendar. Real marriages. Wives are faithful. And also husbands don't have slaves. You never even apologized. So that's what the teenager was doing in our bedroom. Filling you with love. A lot of love. Or as a possession, but for me. He loved me. No, he really did. He asked me to marry me. Ways. Um, gently, savagely. Oh my God. Uh. Frequently, upside down. Is there a problem here? <laughs> no. It's our anniversary. We're just reliving the good times. <laughs> I love her. She's gonna make, she's gonna have sex with Pablo. He's very generous. More than he knows. I'm sorry. You have a thick voice. I'm singing at church for the family follies. Edie's going to accompany me on guitar. What? Church? Really so you and Edie are, are, are gonna be an act. Is that a problem? No! Susan, why are you jealous? Like... I mean, I, I, I'm a little surprised. I know you don't like Edie, but okay. So she's really good, huh? She knows her guitar. Apparently there were a lot of music, sort of like the Von Trapps. Okay, sure. Except, you know, her brother Odeed. Edie or Von Trapps? Next thing you know, God knows who will be wanting to drop by. The audio in this, the audio in this house is very echoey. Yeah, I know, but I have got to get out of this house sometime. I'm going crazy here, okay? Oh my god! My god! I don't know who am I rooting for! Good lord! Oh, please, don't tell me shoot them. Don't tell me it's their boys. Oh, perfect! What is it? Um. She's a great actor, she's alive. The other day I was wondering. I don't give lessons. Why not? Uh, you, you have a little uh, on your. I'm baking cherry pie. Mmm, cherry pie. We do want to fit in. My God. Oh my God, that came from nowhere. Jason's mouth. <laughs> Technology. Hey, Nina. Mm-hmm. Uh, about tomorrow morning. <laughs> the guy threw me, everybody. You know how the first hour of the morning meeting is always so slow. Cause I've got Honey, to just one, one late. Oh God, this is not about your kids again, is it? Parker really needs me to be there on his first. Don't day. say that. Just say that you have traffic. I can't be there. How is this my problem? 
Yeah, you'll hold it. Or perhaps they want to come in a little late after a big crazy night out. What's or happening here? They just want to get a haircut, which I myself have not been able to do for two months, to the people who are childless by choice. Oh my god, I really hate children. I'm sorry about your hair. I can see why you're upset. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I don't understand. This system is gonna let mommy be with you. Systems, is that all here? The resolution is fantastic. The next day, Gabrielle decided to cheer herself up. Oh no. But this time, she was taken what? by what was on display. Don't tell me it's happening. <laughs> yeah, Gabriel. Okay, so he has a fetish. Oh, he only likes women. Like, I don't think he cares about age. He's a teenager. Mm. Oh, no, Gabi, don't do this. Can you imagine if somebody do this with you, with John? <laughs> Nobody listening to this. <laughs> ah, in the middle of the script. <laughs> My God. Also, she can decide, right? What she wants. Mrs. Tillman. Mr. Delphine. What? Her? Wow, my god, the Zaki did a, did something. I'm going back to Utah for a few weeks. Since he beat me and threw me down the stairs, we just don't stay in touch like we should. That's so weird. <laughs> Since when do you care so much about Zaki? Just say to her. No, I let Paul go. I couldn't go through with it. Also, where's Paul? The only connection that Paul has with his dead wife. At some point, he will run back here looking for him. Yeah, of course. I don't like to be negative, but you really should have killed him. Wow, well, Mike is handsome today, my god. I have some unpleasant news. You think that somebody was poisoning him? Apparently, I'm a suspect. I didn't kill your father. Would you two please stop looking at me like that? Obviously, I did not kill your father. I loved him deeply. You and Dad had a lot of problems. Yeah, but I love him deeply. So I know you didn't. You're not capable of murder. You are. It wasn't a compliment. It's guts to kill somebody. What the hell? Wow, that works you again. I really appreciate it. I'm happy. So how would they know that? And if they if the guy in the I basement a bad day. If the guy in the basement do noise, what's gonna do about it? Like a Susan. But your son really likes to play his hip hop music loud. Drowns out the sound of the dryer. <laughs> Better. My god, now it's not gonna let out. Let it shine. I am sorry to interrupt, I'm not. <laughs> well, I have good news. Oh no. I've been taking piano lessons with. No, Susan. And, uh, I don't do trios. But thanks, anyway. Oh, Susan. I mean, it really is supposed to be a family thing, and. Oh, I don't like this. I don't agree with this. No, That's stupid. I talent. And to most audiences, talent trumps family. Well, what makes you so sure I don't? Let's not talk about Trump. Oh, come on, be honest. <laughs> you didn't want any part of this until you found out that I was involved. That is exactly. not true. Oh, yes, it is. I agree with her. I'm so sorry. And if she had it to do over again, she'd pick me. No, she wouldn't. Well, why don't we put it to a test? Oh, uh, but her. Julie, who would you rather have play with you? Yes, who do you want with you in front of all of those people? <laughs> and remember, it's church. They are going to be judging. They are gonna be. Uh, believe me, they're Catholics. Well, first of all, you both suck. But... Do I know? I guess I'd... Take my mom. Pipe back, please. Oh, Susan, come on. It was you, wasn't it? Well, someone had attended the yard. You were busy elsewhere. You're not together anymore. You're calling her Joan? Why shouldn't I? She's my friend. And I have a hunch. You don't do to your friends what I saw you doing to that wrinkly old lady. Oh, well, maybe you do. You never know. The weekends, you know. How many times did you whisper in my ear, you're the only woman I'll ever love? I don't know. Were you just trying to get me into bed? No. I mean, it's tough also. It doesn't mean that you're going to last forever. Yeah, like five minutes ago. Haven't you ever heard of a mourning period? I know it seems quick, but... He's a teenager. In fact, I think I may be in love with her. Okay. Oh no no, it's me. Oh, she never she beyond stupid. He never loved her. Mrs. Solis, please. Oh my god. I almost left my husband for someone who calls me Mrs. Solis. Exactly. Let's break up. So officially. Are you upset because you want to get back together? Because I can break up with Joan. My god, you don't know what you want, right? That's okay, sweetie, I'm good. So this is it for us? Yeah. 
I think it is. This is an entirely appropriate ending. I mean, all the slag, you know. For her, kind of. She realized that he never loved her. He was only horny. I would like to submit myself to a lie detector test to eliminate any uncertainty about what happened with my husband. My only stipulation is that I want my children to be able to see me answer the question. Oh, really? First of all, lie detector, I don't think he's suitable anymore. Because obvious reasons. Did you kill your husband? No. Do you know What's a man it? named George Williams? What? Yes. What? If you want us to take this polygraph seriously, answer the questions we ask. <laughs> Wait, they already find George? George Williams. He's our pharmacist. Are you in love with Mr. Williams? Are you in love with Mr. Williams? Hello? No. <gasps> You're kidding me! Um, I, I was thinking of something else just then, so why, why don't you ask That's why it don't work. Are you in love with Mr. Williams? No. My God, that's why it's not suitable because people get angsty. And it's anxiety. Fucker. Guys, we are, come on, probably, honestly. Oh my God, this woman. Really, she's gonna become a saint. It adds grandeur. I want to talk to you. So hot. Though. Julie made that call. Because you played the mom card. Exactly. He seems to keep popping up at family events. Exactly. In a fool's paradise. You don't know her the way I Wow, he's so beautiful, guys. I can't. Be interested in Julie is to mess with my head. That's not fair. They're both great together. And if you don't believe me, ask Julie. Yeah, Susan. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Oh, that's okay, huh? It's normal. Well, I hope it wasn't as ugly as me and Carl. You'd be surprised. It's ugly. Oh, hey, honey, this is so exciting. Your first day of school. Oh, she's such a nice mother. So many... Staff meeting now. Now, 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 now. Wow, she's off. Oh, my God. Right back. Mommy, come back. <laughs> her. She's trying to keep everything. He's, he's upset because he wanted to show you his copy. You left. Oh, honey, I'm here. Oh, here. Oh, Guy, it's okay. so much pressure. Nina found extra copies. She wants you back now. Okay. I'm pretty sure that this, this meeting is. It can be a email. Hold it for 10 minutes. We have to get through this. Oh, it's 10 minutes. Okay. Let's take a look at our graphs on page 10. Please. Lynette had been. Oh, she finally saw an opportunity. To tip the scale. Oh my god. Favor. Clients with invoices on the shorter term campaign. Okay, why is always. It looks like she was using yes. lingerie. No, I just. I'm very excited. It's a really good plan. Wow, it's a beautiful guy. Now, what happened on the Berman account is that they were sent duplicate bills. <laughs> oh my god. Ron in accounting. And I'm not pointing any fingers, but Tina, Ron. Nobody's walking in and seeing all my lines lit up with this bunch of. Oh my god. Uh huh. I think we're good to go now, honey. You're gonna be great, Parker. Mwah. I love you. Oh, she's a great mother, guys, honestly. Mwah. She tries everything for her kids. Even butter person. <laughs> honestly, Parker. But she's kinda awful, so it's okay. Well, for starters, you can help me prove to the police that we didn't conspire to kill my husband. And how are you? So because of the anomalies in Rex's blood, the police started to wonder if I'd been <laughs> So they saw the anomalies in the Rex's blood. They're great. Too bad they was a little too late. Which is, if I wasn't poisoning Rex on my own, then... Somebody was helping me. You were helping me. I understand. We're just friends. Oh, shit. So. If he takes the polygraph in it's the TV show world, he's gonna show that it was him. They asked me if I loved you. Oh, he's gonna masturbate in, in the IO5. I said no. Wait. According to the polygraph, that wasn't exactly true. But then once we do, we can move on. Really? Oh, he's gonna do it to shit. And they're gonna ask if he's in love with her, and he's gonna say yes, right? And for our next act, please welcome. Yes, yeah, Susan. Why you did it? Julie and Susan Meyer. Wow, this lipstick here, for the love of God. Though. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm just gonna need a couple of seconds, so 
Feel free to pray. <laughs> Seeing you sitting here today. Well, I can see how much you care about you. Thank you, Susan. Well, like I said, I'm sorry. I wish it could be you up there. You have a guitar? You know, I play piano. <laughs> this little life of mine. Oh, she doesn't know how to play piano, also. This little light of mine. My God. Uh. Stop it. You're loving this. No. <laughs> Not at all. It's awful. Shine, shine. <laughs> Let it shine. Well, I think it's really great. Uh. And it is part of the family now. She's gonna say sorry, right? Because she realized that Joe is not her future. Carlo is. Wow, I was beautiful right now. I was really selfish and stupid. Yes, Carlo, your emotions. And I'm sorry. That's okay, Carlos. You can forgive it. She for I had to say. She forgave a lot. That is the best anniversary gift you've ever given me. Actually, the one you gave me is really nice, too. <laughs> Uh, she's great. Everyone enjoys a game of make believe now and then. Sometimes we tell ourselves work won't interfere with our family. Yeah, that's it. But at staff meeting now. My God, how many staff meetings do you need? It? Sometimes we imagine certain relationships to be more meaningful than they really are. Yeah, it's over. I think Joe is officially over. Yes. Oh, shit. Make believe is a simple one. Did you poison Rex Vandekamp? No. <gasps> You're kidding me! And if you can get others. It's a monster! Okay, that was Death Power's Rivals episode 3. Susan, forget Carl, for the love of God. I understand that you're jealous, I understand, I understand his problems, but like, honey, get over it, okay? You have other problems. Live your life, for the love of God. Sell bookers, do something. My dog almost fell. Lynette, for you. <laughs> oh, that's it for you. I think that the character development that we most have in this episode was about Gabby. About she realizing that Joe saying that he loves her. It was only the heat on the moment because he, I'm not gonna blame Joe. He's a teenager. I couldn't shoot the TV show. <laughs> he's a teenager. What he's gonna do about it, you know? He's horny. There's a person who is having sex with him. Of course, he's gonna fall in love with this person. That's normal. Not that I know anything about having sex with other people. So, and Brie? Yeah, George is a mess. That's it. That's all I have to say. <sighs> People are so stupid. I still I still don't believe that we're gonna have like... Oh, the blood test was a problem before in the first season. But like now, oh, we can see in the blood test that something's wrong. That's it. Let's go to the next episode. <laughs> I think the machine picked up on something that I wasn't aware of. Yeah, anxiety. She detected feelings she'd never known. You come within 10 feet of her, I will have you arrested. Now get out. Oh, Zach is going to come back here. Something. Zach is your son, isn't he? That was the day that Gabrielle Solis came <laughs> to visit her husband. <laughs> ah, awful. Their way to give her compliments. Is that the guy from the going to come out? Still, Gabrielle was not flattered. Of course, no, why would she be? Gabrielle started to Oh, that's beautiful. I don't think a conjugal visit is such a ridiculous request. With all due respect, Mrs. Solis, let's... Oh, she wants to have sex. Or your gardener. <laughs> My God. I could be arrested for that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And how about for this? Oh! <laughs> People look. Bitch! Ow! Apologize to the lady. Exactly. Big mistake, pal. You're kidding me, right? Play golf with the warden. You're gonna rot. Ow! He's helping her. Look, fellas, I am just trying to do my. See, guys, that's that's feminism. That's how can you do feminism? It was at that moment it occurred to Gabrielle. <laughs> this was the nicest compliment she had ever received. <laughs> I love this TV show, guys. I can't. So oh my God, <laughs> I can't with this TV show. Feminism. <laughs> they could return home from a hard day's work to the family oh, left behind, Lynette. and not feel at all guilty about the precious moments they had missed. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but when your mother, oh her, missing out on their lives entirely. Hey, you sit, eat. I love that they always have wives and. Grab a beer. Parker has an imaginary friend. Um, 
British nanny. I think he really nanny McPhee? the whole Mary Poppins. Thing. Oh, is that why he's sleeping with an umbrella? He carries it with him everywhere. Oh, it makes sense. Since when? And you don't find it odd that Parker's new nanny made her appearance right at the time I went back to work? He's so busy doing. Parker is having a little trouble. Oh, he's so hot. Though. That's all. Guys, you? you're gonna see along the Honey, honestly, just... can somebody do a super cut when this TV show any of all the times like I said that somebody was hot? Huh? How come she gets a bigger portion? Fair. Hey, how do you know that it's not a ghost? What? I mean, you bought me ribs. I have gratitude to express. Mmm, ribs. I can't do this. This casual thing, it's... It's bothering you. It's weird. You know, until we get the Zach thing resolved. Zack thing. Yeah, but it would just be easy. But it's never gonna be resolved. It's gonna be his son for the rest of his life. But he's part of the package right now. And either you can accept that or you can't. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. I mean, he was, he's being honest, actually. We can blame him. You better be there to help me when it gets ugly. Oh, well. Oh, my God. Oh, let's go. Technically, we don't have to be casual anymore. Let's go. I can be naked in 20 seconds. That includes travel time. Oh, they, oh, the barbecue. You used to help me get a conjugal visit. Exactly. My lawyer's in traction because you wanted sex? You don't want sex? Ever since you've been in here, all we do is bicker. That's all we ever did when I was out. That's what we do. <laughs> you and I need to get laid. Exactly. Oh, don't judge me. You're not in here because you got caught helping the poor. <laughs> Fine. Get the damn lawyer. Why are you acting like it's an obligation? You don't miss that. And make it quick. Okay. Yeah. I figured that was my good night kiss. George, you're a very special friend. Oh my god, I gotta stop my face. I hope you don't mind. Oh shit, he's gonna think that they had an affair. Home cooked meal, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, I would love that. <laughs> he's jealous. Or oh, angry. Or oh, everything is angry. In case you missed that, that was a hint. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> that wasn't a hint. <laughs> I'm tired, so... See, you're the way now. Take off. Andrew. He knows I would never hit a child. Andrew, Andrew. don't do that. George! Ah, you're being a child. Stop it, the two of you, this instant! I will not tolerate this kind of behavior, do you understand? Honestly, I'm not sure if he's trying to protect his mother or something like that, honestly, you know? Because I don't go to Andrew. George, we'll see you Friday for dinner. I'll be serving fish. <laughs> Andrew, kill him. Run him over. <laughs> hey, wake up, sleepyhead. I don't want to wake up, Mom. What do you think you're going to have, huh? Jelly? Because I think I'm going to have a bear claw. Stop! Since I'm here... Maybe she could. Oh, I know what she's trying to do. Relax in the house for a while, okay? No, I need her! Okay. <laughs> I'll be a mother's a job, huh? Here we go. Wait! <laughs> got her umbrella! I'm gonna fucking punch her. Call <laughs> her. Sorry. Hey, honey, you better hurry. You're gonna be late for work. Ah, damn about it. I couldn't find Mrs. Mulberry's umbrella, so oh, I got her the sun hat instead. All right? And here we go. It's in the shower. What? Why do you have to tell me? Are you going to go get it? No, I'm not going to get the damn umbrella. Oh my god. Oh shit. I'm so sorry, sweetie. I am not mad at you. What are you doing? Oh shit. <laughs> what donuts? Ah, later. You're going to be a handful. You are not leaving the house dressed like that. I'm just going to meet some of the guys at the swim club. I don't care. Oh my god, uh, I just saw it. Part of the reason I'm having him over is so that you can get to know him. Yeah, well, I don't want to get to know him. The feelings that you're having are perfectly normal. Yeah, I know. Isn't, you know, I haven't even thought about it. You're so transparent, it's pathetic. No call pathetic. You did require a large entrance fee, one that you can't afford by yourself. Exactly. Are you blackmailing me into coming to dinner? So what's gonna happen to Little Creepy when he gets here? Are you a good question. Him? I mean, the truth is, we're probably never gonna find Zach anyway. It's a needle in a haystack. Oh, I see. And then you'll still come off as Little Miss Perfect self-sacrificing girlfriend. Wow, I really hate when it is correct. <laughs> yours. Because that, oh my God. Oh. 
why you connive? Because that's the moment that he is correct. The reason David oh my God. is the most successful lawyer in all of Fairview. Of course. So. His Made the bit persuasive. No one ever has to know. So hot. Please. I mean, he is hot. The man that my husband was trying to kill in court is not the least bit gay. Trust me. <laughs> Only if it ends with me getting what I want. Your marriage is doomed. Thank you. Excuse me? I've been doing this for a long time, Mrs. Sully. What the fuck? Armed guards, iron bars, it tends to go downhill. Ah, can I try? But I... Listen, you want my advice. Ah, oh my God, the punch him. You're eating alone, remember? And I have a feeling it's not the first time. You're gonna fall in love with her. If he becomes the new lover of God, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> That's all right, Mrs. Scott. So, what happened here? What did Parker do? Uh, are you aware that? Oh, it's cool. Imagine Patty was rammed with this. My God. Uh, <sighs> okay, it's a violence. I am so sorry. Imaginary friends are often created as a coping mechanism to to deal. Ah, yeah, start walking. Alteration in their lives. Exactly, a manifestation of some deep-seated. Why do I know this actress? Can you... For her, Mrs. Scarpa. For her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For her. But you know what I mean? Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> and he was pretending. I have pretty so. Uh, I uh, can't believe how Oh, was then I was here. That's why it's freaky. George's jokes aren't funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, so George. Me? Have you ever actually been with a woman? Me. My experience with women is none of your business. Well, I think it is. I mean, you're dating my mom. My God, that's so good. But I want to make sure my mom's happy, you know, and it really set my mind at ease to know that she's with a guy that knows how to please. Oh my God, you're not talking about this on the table. This is inappropriate. Exactly. You know, man, I heard him through the wall in my bedroom once. <laughs> Shut up. You should have heard my mom too. She had this, this weird moan. Awful. It's awful. That... He's a monster. George, you have to have this. It's absolutely scrumptious. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> Go to your room. George. You heard me. Go to your room. No, you're not your father. Mr. Williams, what's wrong? He's great. Is something wrong? Well, what did he say? I can't say. It's too sordid, but he said it. What? I can't allow you to discipline my child if you won't even tell me what he did. Exactly. I love him. This is the moment where I love him. He's great. He's great, Andrew. Thank you. Now, what is over? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm hoping. <laughs> wow, that's boobies. I'm gonna do you a favor. The more I think of it, the more I'm convinced your marriage is a train wreck. Yeah, he's awful. Okay, is he, why are you doing that you night? Some nerve leaving that message on my machine. You really? That's a beautiful day. Would those be the same instincts that picked out that cologne? You're privileged. <laughs> You're pampered. You're spoiled. You want what you want. Yes, but that doesn't, doesn't mean that she's privileged because she grew up poor. And let's not forget the thing of the stepfather because I never forget in the pilot. Second episode, not pilot. What would you say if I were? I'd say I'm pregnant. <laughs> so See, you're stuck. Wait, you don't you have respect for a baby, but you don't have respect for marriage. Plus C Roxy. Mm. I'll pay you six and I expect a conjugal visit tomorrow by noon. What? Just happy to be spending the day with Where is Jackie leaving, you know? Nah, so then you really help him, but I don't think that he's like true, you know? Okay, that's an adult. Do you mind keeping those and pass them out when people get their ice cream? Mmm, ice cream. Huh. What? Oh, wasn't that him? What? Over there. You're kidding me! Oh! Don't, 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 Zach? no yell, don't yell, he's me. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, oh. <laughs> The ice cream. Let go of the ice cream. Zach, don't run away! Wait! Come on! Oh my god, though. It's enough already! Ah! Oh, shit. Uh, 
<laughs> Nobody here has seen Zach. But there's a halfway house on the west side. Oh. Uh, so is it all? I got you some ice cream. You did. But then I got hungry. Ah, oh, so is it? You're kidding me. You're not gonna so tell him. I just threw my ice cream at him and ran. <laughs> Well, somebody say something. Evidently, he tried to kill Mike. I think we can all agree this kid's a freak. For him. Well, let's check another sense, Zach. Well, I think given everything that's happened, um, it's perfectly justified that you'd be frightened of Zach. But? But. Yeah, exactly. But Zach is Mary Alice's son. The voice of reason. You just gotta get used to daddy providing all the love. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. It would help if you came up with some ideas. Give me some. How about I say pile on the hugs? That'll fix everything. Hugs. I didn't promise that. I didn't promise that. Come here. Hi. Oh, I love them. Okay, this is bad look. Even when I'm not around, my love for you is real. Oh, that's so cute. Though. You may not be able to see it. But it's not imaginary like Mrs. Mulberry. It's real. Mrs. Mulberry is real. I was gonna say that. Exactly. She said you're a liar. Parker. Okay, Mrs. Mulberry, I'm gonna kill her. Let's show her. Why can't we see each other anymore? Because ever since I found out what Andrew said to you, oh. connected to his father's death, and it's clear to me that I need to spend more time focusing on him and his needs. You're no. eating only more milk. Right. And why? You do. So, have you thought about counseling? About? Behavioral modification camp. He got counseling there, right? But I only sent him there because his behavior... Exactly, it was awful. So completely out of bounds. So you, you don't think that what he said to me was out of bounds? You're not gonna send my shit away, motherfucker. I mean, unless I felt like Andrew was getting really out of control, then... Oh, wait, don't put the idea in his head. Oh, eh? hope it doesn't come to that. Oh, will be come on. No. In spite of everything that's happened, I really like Andrew. You put his salt in your watermelon, my god. He reminds me of me. <sighs> to answer the phone or you call out the dogs. Okay. I'm ready whenever you... Woo! Obviously, are. My god, Carlos. Okay, somebody lose weight. Carlos, you're gonna be a father. And when you get out of here, you're gonna need to get a job. By the way, make an honest we have living. still the DNA test that we don't know the truth yet. And a great family. And nothing is gonna get in the way of that. Only after a year, really. How's a new lawyer? You like him? Say the truth. We only have 30 minutes left. And I want to make the most of it. Let's go. Really, Zach came back to the same place? <laughs> he did, uh, my god. Don't yell his name. Because I have a lot of things to say. When was the last time you ate? For him. Ah, oh, he don't deserve these. My dad's alive. With milk. United States are never gonna understand this. You're eating food, lunch with milk. I don't know, I, I just, I just, I need to get some money and find them. Zach, you know what I think? Zach, I think you should come back. Did you know about Mike? There's things that you need to know. Like what? No, don't say it. You know, you messed up a lot of people's lives, Zach. You can't run away from that. Do you mean Julie? Yes, say yes. yes. What? I didn't mean to. I really miss her. Oh, shit. Susan, oh shit. I think about her all the time. Oh shit. Has she said anything about me? Because if she has, then I might still have a chance with her. Oh, he just told Susan that he's not gonna let Julie go and her daughter. I think you should try to find your father first. Now that you know he's okay, oh. you should go to him. I He'll want to take care of you. Okay, I, I was blaming her That's until weird. now. Now I understand her because she wants to protect Julie. He already did all of that stuff. Imagine after, you know, she will be scared. Oh, she's gonna give the money. Shit. Yeah, I understand you, Susan. This time, this time, eh? Oh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, bye bye. Oh, he's gonna fall in the street, right? Ah, you honestly. Lynette can catch a wig. I'm sure Mrs. Mulberry's around here somewhere. Or, uh, maybe she's not. <laughs> Don't face. She maybe she had some other little boy that she needed to help. Like who? I don't know. Some boy who needs more. 
And a mommy who love him. Yeah, that's it. He's an orphan. My God. With no hands. Ah, I like so much. It's Mulberry. She's back. Oh, great. Oh, goody. Mrs. Mulberry's back. Oh shit. Oh, there's a trauma. Oh. She got ran over. She's dead. Uh, call 911. No, Tom. Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, motherfucker. He's gonna try something. He's gonna try something. What are you doing here? Don't worry, Bri. I'll be quick. I thought about what you said. And I love that Bri knows that he's and gonna be jealous. Goodbye, gift. <sighs> Why now? Oh, he went without glasses. I love it. Thank you. Oh. Oh no! Yeah, he's gonna kill him. Grab the car! They stun double. Kissing her! Oh my god, you're bleeding! I mean, he deserves it. Motherfucker. Oh, it's war. It's war! The world is filled with good father. Oh, you hit the Oh, you kill me. They're the ones oh, that everything falls apart in their absence. You kill me, George did it. Who come looking for us when we can't find our way home. Oh, Mikey, you're gonna be so angry with shoes and for the love of God. They're gonna break up again, right? <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, she's sad. My son's imaginary friend got crushed by a garbage truck. Oh, why would you cry? The worst person in the world. Yes, the world is filled with. She's such a great actress, guys. I can't. And the best are the ones who make the women in their lives. Promise. They're such a great couple. I can't. I'm crying. I literally cry. <laughs> That's a good relationship. That's like a god. I can't. Oh my god, I can't. Gosh, that was a long day. <laughs> um. Okay, guys. That was. That's part 5, episode 3 and 4. Let's talk about this episode because the other one I already did. Susan, in the beginning I was not, uh, in the beginning I was not gonna defend you because it's Mike's son. That's it, it's Mike's son. But like, no, give the money to Zach to go find Paul in Utah and then tell Mike that you know that he, he he's in Utah. That's it. Tell the truth, tell that she was scared about Julie and he's for, for Utah, I'm so sorry. And then Mike is gonna go to Utah, but you can't have everything, shoes. I'm so sorry. I can't blame you also. <laughs> I can't blame anybody. Lily, I can't blame you because it's very hard. Like, feel that you are being substituted and then your son don't, don't want to talk to you anymore because he has a imaginary friend. Guys, I, I pretend to have kids, but like, oh, one kid, that's it. But like, if he has an imaginary friend, I'm gonna be like, okay, don't you have Twitter? <laughs> Gabby? Yeah, I think that Gabby finally realized after the last episode in this one that uh, Carlos is the love of his life, her life. And yeah, we still have the baby. I forgot that she's pregnant, honestly. I thought she would be with a little bump in the belly, but okay. Andrew, I trust you. You're gonna kill George, I trust you. You're gonna grab a car. The new, Gabby's new car. Perfect, ironic. That's it, that I'm gonna pour it. The Apple White, you have the mystery, but like no adventures. I don't think that they showed up in this episode, only in the third one. And yeah, that's it. I talk about everybody. And yeah, let's go. Thank you so much for watching this video until here, I really hope you like it. In case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me meet 10,000 subs someday. And also I have a Patreon where I'm gonna put full reactions, early actions, and posts on these videos. Thank you so much, and bye. Daniel, you can also kill George. That's an idea.